Sarah Corland, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here today. I love talking about this incredible company. So I'm going to start with today's presentation by saying something. When I heard this, I didn't need to hear a whole lot more. You ready? EXP is the fastest growing real estate company in the history of real estate. We have grown from no agents to 90,000 agents in really nine years, to be honest, about nine years, where agents have moved over and embraced this first cloud-based real estate brokerage platform and moved away from the traditional brick and mortar real estate companies. Being cloud-based offers us realtors two very distinct benefits. The first benefit is the highest level of coaching, training, support, and technology that's ever, ever existed in the real estate industry. And I'm going to quantify that statement by saying EXP agents sell more properties at EXP on the average than at any other brokerage firm, 6.2 transactions for the average EXP agent. Obviously, some sell a lot more, some sell less. But on the average, EXP agents sell more real estate at EXP than any other brokerage firm. The other benefit, second benefit, is financial. Diane, the reason that we get up in the morning, get dressed, and go to work, right, to fend for ourselves and our family. At EXP, because we are cloud-based and we are not dumping money into an office and paying for all of that crazy overhead, the company has created multiple streams of income for us to ensure not only that we can make more money, but that we have a level of financial stability that agents have never, ever had the opportunity to have before. So pretty amazing. All right, let's go through my background really quickly. I've been in the industry for 33 years as a top producing agent, a real estate coach. Um, I did leave the industry for two years and I was an investment banker at a, a well-known investment banking firm in San Francisco called Robertson Stevens. Um, Robbie Stevens had taken public some of the most famous co uh, companies of all time. Companies like Google, Amazon, eBay, and Yahoo, to name a few. I don't say this to brag. I say this because I'm going to make what I think is a bold statement. With a background in analyzing both businesses and management teams, I believe in my heart of hearts that the EXP business model as a model itself, regardless of industry sector, is as viable as any business plan I've ever seen because of the benefit that this plan provides to agents all over the globe, not just here in the US, but on a global basis. So our founder, Glenn Sanford, saw a trend in the marketplace, right? That all of us experienced. On the left-hand side, what you see were all brick and mortar companies that were all leading in their industry sectors. They were all the companies at one point in time. They've been replaced, of course, by the companies on the right-hand column, which are cloud-based businesses, right? Think about it. Anybody that wants to rent a movie tonight, is anybody going in their car and heading out to Blockbuster or Hollywood Video? No, because they don't exist anymore. Today, in the comfort of our, of, our, of our home, we get to downstream a movie from our tablet and our television, and there is no more Blockbuster or Hollywood Video. Amazon has decimated Circuit City. Of course, uh, they didn't just decimate them. They put them out of business. <laughs> Um, and Uber has decimated Yellow Cab. The question is why? Why last year alone did 8,000 big box retailers go out of business? Because cloud-based businesses are run more efficiently, profitable, and more cost-effective for both business and consumer. How does that impact us in real estate? Think about it. All of the bulge bracket firms, Keller Williams, Berkshire Hathaway, Cobble Banker, Remax, I can go on and on. What's the common factor? Well, the common factor is they all spend an enormous amount of capital building out these monstrosity of offices. And then, of course, have to keep those offices up and running, paying for a monthly overhead. But folks, where do most realtors work out of today? They work out of the comfort of their home. They'll even go to a coffee shop. They don't want to feel confined by an office. If that holds true, why are we still building these crazy offices? And EXP does not. So there's not that same infrastructure of costs. Now, although we don't build offices, EXP Agents has access to use more offices than any other brokerage firm that's out there. We have a relationship with a company called Regis Corporate Suites, and there are 3,000 offices around the globe that we could use whenever we'd like, absolutely free of charge. But watch, watch how agent-centric this model is. So EXP, instead of dumping money into an office, what they've done is the following. They brilliantly and generously take half of their revenues and give those monies back to we, the agents, 
for simply going out there and introducing EXP to other agents and helping to grow and build the company. Last year alone, you ready? EXP gave back to the agents $174 million, million dollars. Let that marinate for a second, right? So by simply going out there and introducing EXP to other agents, agents now have the opportunity to build an organization somewhat like a broker and have a passive and residual income stream. The only difference is, unlike a broker, they have none of the managerial or financial responsibilities. But we have the ability now to have a passive and residual income, giving ourselves an extra layer of financial security today, something that we could take into our retirement and ultimately hand this business off to our heirs. So the question here is simple. Would you rather work for a traditional brokerage firm that dumps all of their money into an office that you never use or gives you back those monies directly into your bank account so you could best fend for yourselves and your families? And to me, the answer is pretty obvious. Let's talk a little bit about our business model. We like to say these are the three C's. Can everyone see my screen okay, by the way? Thumbs up. Yep, cool. All right. Three C's. First, compensation. At eXp, not only will you keep more of your commissions by having a cap in place, but you have multiple streams made available. Again, multiple streams of income, significantly better than one stream of income in terms of how it impacts us financially. Second, source of community. I've been in the industry for over 33 years. I have never, ever, ever seen a community like the EXP community. As a matter of fact, I'm here in Miami where EXP Con is taking place this weekend with over 5,000 agents in attendance. Whether it's our mentorship program, our extensive coaching platform, our Icon Achievement Awards, there's a level of community at EXP that's unlike anything in the industry. And again, 90,000 strong. And the fact that we're cloud-based allows for no desk fees, clearly no franchise fees, and you get to work from anywhere. But watch how powerful this is. The fact that, that we're not dumping money into brick and mortar, paying for those offices, allows for an investment into each and every one of us. What do I mean? Well, at eXp, coaching and training, 40 to 60 hours of live coaching and training each and every week where you're armed with tools and systems in a position where you could elevate your business. Support over 500 full-time employees that are right there at your beck and call to answer any questions you have so you can transact as smoothly as possible. Now, this is our metaverse. This is where we transact a lot of our business and it's called EXP World. Now, I've been at EXP for four and a half years. When I joined, I was 58 years old. And when I tell you copying and pasting was challenging, it is the truth. I am not tech savvy at all. I remember the first time I, lo I logged in, I laugh about this, the first time I logged into EXP World and I saw avatars talking to avatars, I wanted to jump off the balcony. I felt like life had passed me by, right? Today, I'm going to tell you there's not a more comprehensive and detailed way of transacting real estate. In the EXP world, it's all about collaboration, information sharing. I mentioned before 40 to 60 hours of live coaching and training in large scale meetings. Please listen to this data point. EXP in nine years has acquired the number one or number two top producing realtor in more than 50% of the states. These are the agents that put on the coaching classes. They are sharing with you the tools and systems that they are using in today's marketplace where they are selling at the highest level. So you could simply mirror and implement into your own business. You are learning from the best of the best. In eXp world, it's all about specialized departments. If you've got an example, if you've got a problem with your laptop, for example, you simply go to the technology department, a technician jumps in your laptop and quickly remedies. Every state has their own state broker room. It is managed by a designated broker and then supported by other managing brokers ensuring that any questions or concerns that you have, your questions are answered in real time. It's no longer about getting in your car, driving to the office and praying that your broker's there to answer any questions. Whether it's accounting, legal, onboarding, uh, marketing, real-time support throughout the, entire, uh, throughout the entire course of the business day. 
So our growth obviously has been impressive. 90,000 agents, we broke every record in a very, very short period of time. What may be more, what may be more impressive is the outlook of the company. According to the Wall Street Journal and Motley Fools, the stock pickers in CNBC, a million realtors is anticipated within the next 10 years. Now we're talking about on a global basis, of course, but I want you to think about this. If we're at 90,000 agents today and we are marching toward a million agents, are we not at the very tip of the iceberg in terms of our anticipated growth curve, right? We're right at the very tip of the iceberg. How it works at eXp is we're a publicly traded company. When you work at the company, when you hit simple production milestones, the company is going to give you a gift or reward of stock. This is not an option that you have to pay for. It's called a stock grant. This is a free income stream to you. But I want you to think, what would it might mean to you? What would it mean to me or collectively our families to have ownership in a brokerage that is anticipating this type of growth? I will share this with you. There is a handful of friends and colleagues that I know at eXp that have built what I consider to be generational wealth by having ownership in the brokerage firm that they're working at. And that's eXp. It's been absolutely phenomenal. I think we could all agree the most dominant world event over the last five years had to have been COVID, right? It shut down the world economy. When I was at, when I joined eXp four and a half years ago, it was really the start of COVID. At that point in time, eXp was in four countries. We we're in all 50 states here in the US, Canada, Great Britain, and Australia. Take a look at this map. While the rest of the world economy was shut down, eXp expanded. They are today in 24 different countries, which really speaks to the flexibility of the model. It's unlike anything that's been out there. eXp Commercial is a separate company. It launched in November of 2020. And within the first year of doing business, it was one of the top 10 commercial brokerage firms that were out there. Now, being an eXp realty agent focused on selling residential, you're going to love this. You have the ability to cross-sell. The company allows you to sell commercial product as well, and, and they'll train you on how to do so. If you are on the commercial side, you have the ability to cross-sell and sell residential product. The beauty here is there's only one set of fees. There's one cap, whether it's commercial or residential product, there is one cap ensuring that we are keeping more of our commissions. So think for a second, how do we as agents get compensated typically by our broker? Well, we only get compensated one way and one way only. When we transact, we earn a commission. And if we don't transact for an extended period of time, there's not, you know, we, we put ourselves in a position to experience financial hardship. Take a look at this slide. It does a really good job of explaining how eXp differentiates itself, right? If you go to work and you work at any job, any job whatsoever, you go to work and have the ability to earn what's called earned income. Somebody who works at McDonald's, right? Simply put, earns an hourly wage. If you work at eXp or traditional brokerage firm, how it tr traditionally works is when you transact, you earn a commission. Now, Warren Buffett's been saying for years, in order to retire with any sort of wealth, or just comfortability. You need to have additional streams of income. eXp heard it and did something about it. First company to create an income stream that a portfolio income stream and how it works is the following way. I touched off on this before. At eXp, we are publicly traded. When you hit simple production milestones, the company is going to give you stock or equity in the form of a gift or what we call a stock grant. Again, this is not an option. This is a free income stream for you. Also, if you choose to opt in, the company allows you to participate in what we call our agent stock purchase program, where you're allowed to take a small portion of your closed commissions on any transaction and actually buy the eXp stock for a small discount to, to, it, to what it's being traded at that very day. The beauty here is there's no holding restrictions whatsoever. And every agent at eXp, and I touched off on this before as well, has the opportunity to transform their business from being solely transactional to creating a passive income stream by simply introducing this platform to other agents and build an organization. An organization, again, that they don't have to manage 
They don't have to lay out any capital for it and they have no liability for it, right? And that is called revenue share. I'll get more into that in a moment. For the remainder of today's presentation, I'm gonna focus on what I call the four main income streams, sort of the four pillars. There are some people that give this presentation that talk about 20 or 120 different, different, different type of income streams. I'm gonna keep it as real with you as possible and as simple as possible. I believe with an open heart and an open mind, you'll quickly see how this model is so unique, so different, and may very well align with the direction that you would like to take your business. The first income stream I wanna address with you is transactional income. How do we typically get paid as agents? Well, it's typically a split between broker and agent. Whether that split is 60-40, 70-30, 80-20, it doesn't make sense. Why? Because the more you sell, the more money you make, the more money you have to pay your broker, right? That makes no sense at all. Think about it. Anybody in today's call wake up January 1st and go, hey, I want to give away my money to the IRS? No, our goal is to sell as much as we can and keep as much as we can. And in EXP, you'll do exactly that. Everyone is treated the same at the company, 80-20 split. The difference is, look at that $16,000 cap. Once that cap is met, once that cap is realized, you are now keeping 100% of what is rightfully yours, your hard-earned commissions. EXP has the lowest cap in the industry, or one of the lowest caps in the industry, out of any of the full-service brokerage firms. I want to show you how powerful this is. Let's say an agent hypothetically works for a traditional real estate brokerage. Most of them do not have caps, by the way. Okay, And let's say hypothetically, the agent works on the same 80-20 split as an EXP agent, and the agent does $200,000 in commissions. Well, if they do $200,000 in commission, the broker is going to capture 20%. That agent is going to pay their broker $40,000. Now watch, EXP's got a $16,000 cap in place. You're never paying more than $16,000. Do you realize by that agent simply moving their license from where they're at to EXP, they would be giving themselves a $24,000 pay increase. And this is a pay raise that they don't have to beg, beg anybody for. By simply transferring their license, by having a cap in place, you put yourself in a position to keep more of your commissions. This is your first income stream and a really, really important one at that. Your second income stream has to do with lead generation, right? If you don't have buyer and seller leads, you typically don't have much of a real estate organization. And think about it. What is the thing that we as realtors typically like doing the, the most? Prospecting and taking on all of that rejection, looking for buyers and sellers. At eXp, I'm gonna highlight a couple of lead generating tools that the company has in place to ensure our success. The first one is our relationship with KV Core widely considered to be one of the best CRMs in the industry because it has a lead generating mechanism. If you were to go online after today's call, you would take note, KV Core is not cheap. It would cost you almost 600 bucks a month to buy KV Core. At eXp, it's part of your technology. You're not paying any extra for this, but watch how it works. If you put in place a minimal ad spend campaign where you're driving Google or Facebook leads, for example, let's say you spent four to five dollars a day driving leads so 120 to 150 a month it's the cost of a starbucks coffee but if you spent four to five dollars a day you would generate north of 100 leads a month now i could tell you as one of the founders of mavoto now called ojo or o o o ojo or og whatever they call themselves internet leads typically convert at two to four percent so if you're getting 100 leads a month and you're converting two to four percent do you realize that's 24 to 48 extra transactions a year. Allowing agents for the first time to skyrocket their business to levels that agents never dreamed possible. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you KV Core is easy to use. It is not. There is absolutely a learning curve of three to four weeks. But for those agents who take their business seriously and learn KV Core, and then carefully integrate this platform into their business, again, you get to put yourself in an incredibly good position to take your business to a whole new level. The other two lead generating sources I want to quickly touch on, one is our relationship with Realty.com. We used to have an exclusive relationship. The best analogy I can give you of Realty.com is Zillow Flex 15 or 20 years ago before you had to pay a king's ransom 
to buy a zip code. It's been a home run for the company. And the other one is EXP zone revenues, revenues, revenues plan. I miss, couldn't get that one out. Revenues plan. And that is our REO and relocation platform that has been an absolute home run for the company. In the last 12 months, that platform has produced over a billion, with a B, dollars in revenues. Having these lead sources has been a very important focal point of our founder, Glenn Safford, which again is why EXP is first and foremost the most successful real estate sales organization in the world. This is your second income stream. Your third income stream, having equity or ownership in the company that you are working with. EXP is on the NASDAQ. The ticker symbol is EXPI. And as I said before, when you hit simple production milestones, the company is going to grant you stock. The first stock grant is given each and every year after your anniversary date. When you sell a property, you'll receive your first grant of stock. Your second grant of stock is given when you're out there right? Transacting real estate. You are talking to other agents and you happen to share EXP with another agent. That agent looks at EXP, decides to come aboard and names you as their sponsor. When they make their first sale, you'll receive a second stock grant. A third stock grant is given when you hit your cap. You've done 80,000 in commissions, right? 20% of 80,000 is 16,000. You hit that $16,000 cap, and you've earned a third stock grant. Now listen to the fourth stock grant. It's amazing. It's for high producing realtors. It's for realtors who earn what's called an icon status. And an icon agent is defined the following way. If you do a half a million dollars in, um, if you do a half a million dollars in gross commissions on a minimum of 10 transactions, or you hit that cap of 16,000 and you do 20 additional sides. If you double into property, two sides, right? But watch what happens if you hit icon status. The $16,000 that you had paid to eXp, the company gives that $16,000 back to you. Now you have to hold the stock and allow it to invest for different periods of time. But folks, if you pay the EXP 16,000 and you're getting back the 16,000, you now are essentially keeping 100% of your split, aren't you? Not only are you keeping 100%, but your money is working for you. What do I mean? The stock two and a half years ago was at $165 a share. So historically I'm talking about, right? The stock has done exceptionally well, $165 a share. There was then a two-for-one stock split. And then due to world events, every publicly traded brokerage stock was absolutely decimated. But there's not an analyst in Wall Street today that would not tell you our stock is severely, and I mean severely, undervalued. The other option is of course our agent stock purchase program, which allows you to take, if you if you choose to opt in, it allows you to take 5% of your closed commission on any transaction, and it allows you to purchase the stock at a 5% discount to what it's trading at that very day. Now there's zero holding restrictions. That's amazing. You don't have to hold the stock for a month, a week, or a day. You could buy it at a 5% discount and sell it for a pure profit of 5% immediately. It's kind of like buying a $10 bill for $9.50. What's great here is that money flows directly into your pocket, not your broker's uh, just yours. And this has been an absolute home run program for anybody working at the company. This is your third income stream. I wanna stop here and just quickly check in with you. Um, I can't see anybody's face on the screen right now. Does anybody have any questions of anything that's come up so far? Anybody at all? All right, cool. Last income stream I wanna to talk to you is about revenue share. And that's exactly what the company is doing. Instead of dumping money into an office, the company is brilliantly and generously taking half of their revenues and giving them back to agents who are helping to grow the company. Folks, if you never, ever, ever, and I mean ever, ever, ever wanna talk about EXP to another agent, you never have to feel obligated to do. This came into play because Glenn Sanford, our founder said, you know what? It doesn't make sense that realtors have to, have to sling real estate well into their 60s, 70s, and 80s because they don't have any financial security. 
So that is how revenue share came about. So every agent has the ability to now get paid like a broker with having, without having any of the responsibilities of being a broker. What do I mean? Well, a broker, again, gets paid a net income, right? That is revenues minus all their crazy expenses. A broker has a major overhead, right, each and every month to keep that office up and running. They have extensive capital outlay to build the office. They have all of legal liability and they've got to manage and supervise agents. Can you imagine that? And he, as an eXp affiliate, you have none of those things. But let's look at the benefits. Let's compare an eXp affiliate and how we get paid versus a broker. A broker gets paid off of the net income that comes from them recruiting agents to work for their brokerage. If that agent goes to work for the broker and works directly under their roof or umbrella, the broker will capture a small portion of the realtor's production. In other words, the broker gets paid out on one level or one tier. Watch the difference. As an eXp affiliate, you get paid on gross revenues, not net income. You get paid in the gross revenues of the company. You get compensated on the production of each and every agent that you introduce that joins EXP with it. You sponsor them. You, the company is going to share their revenues on each and every one of those people. But something else happens. When you introduce an agent to EXP, that agent now, just like you, has the same opportunity to introduce other agents to EXP and build their own organization so they can enjoy a passive and residual income. And in essence, they become a recruiting arm for you, allowing your organization to grow organically by having a system in place that is not just duplicatable, but leverageable, where a broker gets paid out on one level or one tier if the agent works directly under the roof or umbrella at EXP, folks, you get paid out in seven levels or seven tiers. Really significant and a huge difference. I'll illustrate this through my own revenue share with you, okay? The other thing I want you to consider, a broker gets paid off of net income that's derived from a single office that operates in a single state. As an EXP affiliate, you get compensated, right? By having agents, you could have them spread across all 50 states and in any country that EXP operates in today or operate going forward because we do not have offices. So there are no territorial boundaries. We are cloud-based, so a huge difference. But let's talk about the leverageability and the difference between one tier and seven. So I've been at EXP for four and a half years, right? I've been moderately successful. I haven't lit the world on fire. I have sponsored about one agent a month for the time I've been here. So I've got 66 agents on what I call, or what we call my front line. Anybody who you personally sponsor is on your front line, your first tier, okay? Now, how it works, again, you get paid in seven tiers. So whoever, any one of those 66 agents, whoever they brought into their organizations would then be on my second tier. The people in my second tier, whoever brought they brought into my organization, into their organization would be then be on my third tier. Now watch. So as the 66 agents went out there in an, in an effort to grow their own organization so they can have a passive and residual income, as they, as they recruited people who recruited people who recruited people, my business grew simultaneously. They, in essence, were building my business for me. From the 66 agents, from the 66 agents that I personally have sponsored, are you sitting down? Today, I have almost 3,000 agents in my organization. What does that mean? Anytime one of those 3,000 agents make a sale, guess what happens? I get paid. Something else happens. Anytime one of those 3,000 agents goes out there and introduces EXP to another agent and another agent joins, my organization grows by itself. My organization is able to grow by itself. I have not recruited one agent in the last four months. I have been traveling nonstop. Now I'm gonna share with you, in the last 30 days, my organization has grown by more than 160 agents without me lifting a finger or basically, or sponsoring one person. Think about that, let that marinate. Do you realize that my organization grew more in the last month than the size of most brokerage firms? that are in the United States. It's 
absolutely amazing and gives us an opportunity to do something, have a level of financial stability that has never, ever existed before in the real estate sector. And remember, revenue share, agents pay 0% of their commission to fund revenue share. Revenue share comes from the company taking 50% from the 20% that they're collecting up to 16,000 and giving that money back to the agents, create, creating a self-sustaining business model. So in essence, if an agent caps a 16,000, again, the company takes 50%, 50% goes back to the company to pay their expenses. The other 50% is distributed on seven different tiers. And again, last year, that number was $174 billion. Take a look at this chart, and this will do a good job of explaining. So again, on the left-hand side of the seven different tiers that you get paid on, that's pretty self-explanatory. The middle column, FLQA requirements, as of May, no more qualifying requirements on tiers one, two, and three. So if my buddy Nick Nick Lynch came over, and I, I'm not Nick's, Nick's sponsor, but let's say hypothetically, I sponsor Nick. And Nick's a great and talented guy, and he brings in 20 agents. I'd have Nick in my first tier and 20 agents in my second tier. And if those 20 agents each brought in five people, I would then have 100 agents in my third tier. I would get paid from the company off of the production of all of those agents in tiers one, two, and three, because no qualifying requirements. Qualifying requirements kick in in tier four. Once you have sponsored five agents, that's going to open up tiers one, two, three, and four. Ten agents, tiers one through five, 15, one through six. And the Shangri-La is, in fact, if you sponsor 30 agents, you will open up all seven tiers. Now watch, allow your eyes to carry to the lower right-hand portion of the screen. I don't know one person in tier, maybe one, in tier four, five, six, and seven, where I probably have between those four, five, six, and seven, I bet you I have more than 2,000 people in those tiers. I probably don't know, maybe I know one person, right? Yet look at not tier number seven. You get paid the most amount of money in your seventh tier. I had nothing to do with attracting that person, yet I, that is where I get paid the most amount of money. So from a $16,000 capping agent, and that 8,000 is distributed in the seven tiers, I get $2,000 from every capping agent that hits 16,000 and the 8,000 that's dis distributed, I will receive 2,000 of the 8,000 that's distributed. If you go up to tier number one, you'll take note. It says $1,400, right? On any agent, after year one, years two and out, any agent that hits their cap of 16000 I will get paid $1,400. I'll get paid $1,600 in tier two and $1,000 in tier three. But in tier number one, two, and three, there is also what we call an adjusted bonus. An adjusted bonus is made up of, we all know, that there's attrition in our industry. There are going to be people that leave EXP and they have a team, in, a group in place, or most agents do not get paid in all seven tiers. So there is a big pool of money. Every month, you make a minimum, if that agent caps, of $1,400 in your first tier, $1,600 in your second tier, and 1000 because you also get to participate in the adjusted bonus. You get bonused out. I will tell you my bonus last month was over $10,000. I also wanted to highlight for you, in year one, Anybody who you personally sponsor in year one, if that agent caps, you are not making $1,400. You ready? You are making $4,000. Of the $16,000 and the $8,000 that is distributed, you are making $4,000 from each and every agent's production in your front line. You'll take a note that the numbers do come down a little bit in tiers four and five. They trickle back up for you in tier six and they maximize out in tier seven. The blue ribbon highlights what is the percentage breakdown of the, of the monies that are distributed. I also wanted you to know an agent does not have to cap for you to get paid. How it works is the moment an agent comes to EXP and they start transacting, you will get paid on each and every transaction until that agent hits their cap. So you are guaranteed of getting paid from the moment. So somebody in your front 
first tier, for example, let's take year two and out, right? You get paid each and every on each and every transaction until you make a minimum of fourteen hundred dollars off of that agent's production because they cap out, and then you get the adjusted bonus. Is there any any questions whatsoever when it comes to this, please? All right, cool. I'll continue then. So again, to keep it real between us, anybody in today's call say, I can't wait until I get my real estate license so I could recruit agents. No, it's ridiculous. We got our real estate license because we, we love the idea of selling real estate and working with buyers and sellers. But you got to admit, if you're selling real estate, you have to be working with other agents, right? You're either listening to offers and making an offers. So the conversation exists. I want you to think for a second, as you're doing a transaction with an agent, right? You've got a 30 or 60 day closing. Do you not have now have an ample opportunity to say to that agent, hey, you know, Nick, I really enjoy doing this transaction together. It was fun. You came off as you know super professional and are a really nice guy. I hope you'll take this as a compliment. Nick, would you be maybe open-minded to exploring a brokerage platform that would allow you to keep more of your commissions and maybe, maybe aligns with the direction you want to take your business by offering you multiple other streams of income one is a passive income stream. Do you think an agent may simply be open-minded? Let's say that the person who invited you to today's call, as well as myself, we do the heavy lifting for you. We'll put on all the presentations. Let's assume over the next six to 12 months that we simply help you bring in three agents into your organization. So you'd have three agents in your first tier. And if we duplicated that process, simply help those three agents bring in three, you'd have three agents in your first tier and nine in your second. Watch how the numbers roll out here. It's fascinating. In your first tier, you're making $12,000 in passive income on three capping agents. With nine capping agents in your second tier, you're making an additional $14,400, giving you an annual passive income of $26,000, $26,400 a year or $2,200 a month. Think about this. What do you think that would mean to the average agent in our country? What level of stress or anxiety would maybe be alleviated from that realtor's life? What do you think this would mean to a realtor's family? If I could ask the question more pointedly, what might it mean to you and your family? I am going to share with you for a moment, if I may, what it meant to me and my family. I had heard about the EXP model three years prior to joining. I remember when the model was first introduced to me, the person who provided the presentation, I responded after the presentation by saying the following, Diane, in this lifetime, I will never join EXP. In this lifetime, I will never, ever, ever join EXP. Now, I was riding a financial wave of success then, right? I had been a successful real estate coach. And you know what, Clark, when you're having a level of success, you got that ego kind of talking to you in the back of your head. I'm all too big for that. I'm never going to talk to another realtor. I don't need the money. Yada, 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 yada. Well, three years later, I was 58 years old and the unthinkable happened. I lost everything I had to my name. I come from a family of overachievers. My younger brother is a vascular surgeon. My sister's a Yale doctor married to a Yale doctor. And at 58, I think Clark, they thought I lost my mind. I went bankrupt. I had to borrow money from both of them. And I don't know why I'm so emotional today talking about this. <clears throat> my son at the exact same time um, got into Syracuse University. He was raised in Northern California in an area called Burlingame. And my mantra has always been to him, Jackson, if you work hard, I will send you to whatever college you want to get to. School didn't come easy. Jackson worked hard and got into Syracuse. One of the saddest moments, Diane, was having to look at him with tears running down my face and saying, Jackson, I love you more than life itself. I can't afford your college education. I didn't know how he's going to put a roof up in my head and put food on the table. I felt so disgraced and embarrassed. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what else to do, but look at back at this crazy model. It was one of the only options at that point in time at 58 that I had available to me. And after having spent three years trying to blow holes into why this crazy platform wouldn't work, what I realized what the was the following. The model is what the model is. The model provides us as agents, tool systems, support, and technology so we could be the best professional versions of ourselves. The model provides us multiple streams of income, giving us a layer of financial security to take care of ourselves and our family that has never, ever, ever been avail available to realtors previously.
And I made a solemn vow to myself then. I said, I'm not going to become a snake oil salesman and ram this model down people's throat. What I am going to do in the most spiritually healthy way possible is share, share from my heart and ask for the opportunity if an agent would simply compare and contrast what they're receiving from their existing brokerage partner versus what EXP has to offer so they and they alone can determine what was in their best interest. And I believed in my heart then as I believe today that unless an agent is wearing blinders or has their hands over their ears, they'd have to attest to the fact that this model, more so than not, aligns with the direction most agents want to take their business. I mentioned before, I kept my head down, I kept my mouth shut, and I stayed focused because I had to. I don't know how to say this. I'm saying this as humbly as possible. I told you I declared bankruptcy four and a half years ago. I created a platform in four and a half years that won't pay me one or two, but will pay me multiple millions of dollars a year for the rest of my life and provide for myself and those I love in a manner, Diane, I swear to you that I never imagined was available to me four and a half years ago. And then I'm able to take this model and hand this off to my kid, to my only one and only heir. Is that not completely incredible? Please, if nothing else, Take the time to give this model the attention it deserves and to analyze and see if it's right for you in the direction you want to take your business. A couple of more slides and you'll have you'll be done with me for the day. Okay. All right. I had talked to you about the succession plan. Okay. Let's talk about EXP fees. What are the fees? So there is a minimal $64 application fee. I'll look dead into the camera and tell you that is the best $64 I've ever spent. The only recurring fee is your technology fee. You do pay that each and every month. It's $85 and you got a plethora of tools and systems to ensure that you're having the success that you want in real estate. The only other fees are in closed transactions. There's a nominal $25 broker review fee. Of course, we must carry insurance, e and right? That's $60 on every closed transaction and it caps at $750 for the year. What I love here is the fact that you're not getting hit with a bill of $1,000 or $2,000 for E&O. You are paying for E&O as you use it. What do you get for 85 bucks? Well, you're going to get a lot. You're going to get KV Core, which is your main lead generating tool, CRM and lead generating tool. If you were to pay for it, 600 bucks a month at EXP, it's part of your 85. Skyslope, number one transaction management so software system, that would cost you 300 bucks, also included. You get access to EXP's marketing center, thousands and thousands of customizable templates, allowing your business to be a plug and play so you can spend more time focusing on delivering high-level services to your, your clients and looking for new buyers and sellers. You get access to Regis's worldwide campus to use any of their 3,000 offices whenever you want free of charge. 40 to 60 hours of live coaching and training, and you get your website. It is hosted for you. This is all for 85 bucks a month. If you were to piecemeal this, right, you'd pay somewhere between 12 to $1,500 a month. Folks, this is precisely the tools and systems that you need in order to have in place to elevate and run the most efficient real estate business possible. So now there are going to be, oh, I got ahead of myself here, okay? EXP, first company to acknowledge what the NA and what the National Association of Realtors has been saying for a long time, right? And that is one out of every three realtors is void of health is void of health insurance. Think for a second, the risk that poses to a real estate professional and their family. At EXP, first company to come up with innovative, low cost health care options. Now, there are going to be several people out there that say to you, oh, you don't want to get involved with EXP. It's all about revenue share or earning stock, yada, 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 yada. So, folks, I'm going to dispel that right here, right now. Not because I'm saying it, because the numbers will say it to you. EXP is, first and foremost, the most successful real estate sales organization on the planet, and it ain't even close, right? Because we are uber successful selling real estate, and brilliant enough to have a cloud-based model, yes, it is financially advantageous for us to embrace that because it provides us multiple streams of income and takes care of us financially in a way that realtors never had made available before. But look, look at this slide. Real trends, 
EXP transaction sides. We didn't just beat the competition. We spanked them. We absolutely dwarfed the competition. Look at sheer volume here. We happen to be number three in volume last year in terms of um, sales volume from a price point perspective, right? Sheer volume, we blew everyone out. But sales volume, we were number three. The point being, regardless of what metric you want to use to measure EXP, whether it's 90,000 agents strong that have come over to embrace this incredible model, the fact that the top talent in the industry has moved over, where we have the number one or number two top percent, top producing realtors in more than 50% of the states. Our market cap, which is our financial strength as a publicly traded company, or sheer volume, we are the company that everybody is talking about, often referred to as the Amazon of real estate at the Inman Conference, conference after conference, EXP most innovative brokerage firm, and on the lower left side, maybe the thing that I'm most proud about, Glassdoor's best, pay, best place to work. If you win this award two years in a row, you have absolutely slayed the dragon. You've killed it. You ready? EXP, seven years running. The absolute best place to work. As I wrap up today's presentation, I'm going to say to you, with all of that said, why hasn't every agent around the globe then joined EXP? And I think it's a valid question. And the only response I have for you is the following. We as human beings are habitual and change is challenging. But I think we could also agree, if you always have done, if you always do what you've always done, you will always get what you always got. If you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you always got. Folks, what are you going to do differently? You know, we have great intentions. We wake up right after New Year's and we make these wonderful resolutions, right? We're typically going to fall in love, get in great shape. We're going to make more money to fend for ourselves and our families. And if we're being honest with each other, what happens within 30 days of a new year? Those resolutions get kicked to the curb, not because we're mean and malicious, because we're human and we're habitual. So I'm going to take you in a 30 second exercise and I'll be done. And it's an exercise that our, one of our founding fathers, Benjamin Franklin, went through when he had to make an important decision. What he'd simply do is take out a piece of paper and draw a line smack down the middle of the page. On the left hand side, he would list all of the pros, why it would be beneficial for him to take action and do something different. On the right hand side, he'd list all of the cons. And for our founding father, he would know to take action simply if the pros outweighed the cons. I am not going to waste your time. Suffice it to say, I could give you 30 pros off the top of my, my off the top of my mind, how EXP may best align with the direction you want to take your business, whether it's being surrounded by the top agents on the planet, pushing you to be the best professional version of yourself, having multiple streams of income, best of breed technology. I can go on and on and on. I'd venture to guess you couldn't give me three cons why staying where you are at is in your best interest. The question is not whether or not you should join EXP. The question that needs to be asked is why wouldn't you take the opportunity to build, to, to embrace this incredible brokerage platform so you could get the results that you want, that quite frankly you need, and maybe most importantly, that you deserve because you are deserving. You are deserving of building something spectacular and having stability, financial stability, and having the right tools and systems in place so you can be the best real estate professional possible. Please don't let this opportunity simply slide through your fingertips. Take the opportunity to analyze this and compare and contrast it. I think you'll see glaringly how EXP aligns with your business and how it will enhance your career as a real estate professional. I'm here to listen to any questions you may have or answer any questions you may have. We'll listen to any of your comments. Thank you for being here. Whew. Need some water.